Welcome to Sled Check. On today's episode, we're gonna be diving in, taking a look at snowmobile suspension, checking our slides, our wheels, and our bearings. So let's go ahead and get started with today's episode. All right guys, so we're gonna start by taking a look at the overall condition of the suspension. Just generally looking it over, it looks pretty good, but a couple things that you wanna make sure look solid is definitely gonna be the shaft here of your shock. You wanna make sure that it's dry, clean basically. You don't want any pits or any rust happening on that but ours does look pretty good. Coming up here to the front to our limiter strap, this actually takes a lot of wear and tear over the years, so it's something you definitely gonna wanna make sure is good. Ours definitely looks solid. We don't have any tears or any weathering happening in that, but just double check yours. Coming on down here to our slides, the slides are definitely gonna have to be replaced. They have actually reached their wear line, so we're definitely gonna wanna go ahead and fix those. Then taking a look at our wheels here, wheels look pretty good overall. We don't see any cracking or rubber kind of missing on the wheels, so that's pretty good. But uh, it does look like this one does have a little bit of wiggle, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started by taking a look at that front idler wheel. So let's go ahead and pop off that rubber cap and just take a look here. All right, so just simply taking a look at the wheel itself and the bearing, it looks like there might be an issue on the wheel not just the bearing itself, but let's go ahead and remove that and just double check. All right, let's take a look here. This is interesting, taking a look at the bearing and wheel itself, it's still really hard to tell what the issue is here, but it, I don't know if it is the bearing, it might be the wheel itself. Let's go ahead and take that bearing out and take a closer look at the problem. All right guys, we've removed the bearing from the idler wheel and this itself looks pretty good overall. I don't think it's really the bearing that's causing us this issue. Taking a closer look inside the idler wheel itself, it does look like we have a little bit of an oval shaped happening inside the wheel. So let's just go ahead at this point and replace the whole entire wheel assembly. All right guys, so we've gone ahead and gotten some idler wheels out of stock. Now, we do not have the matching idler wheels to the old suspension, so we've gone ahead and given ourselves a little bit of an upgrade. Dennis Kirk does have a wide variety of these available on our website, so go ahead and pick something out that's gonna work great for you. Now, I do wanna let you guys know that the bearings as well as snap rings do come included on the idler wheel itself. So let's go ahead and throw this puppy on the sled. All right guys, so we've gone ahead and got the idler wheels on the suspension. Everything's looking good to go. So let's go ahead and get to those slides. So we've gone ahead and tipped the suspension on its side. So let's go ahead and remove the slides off of the suspension itself. All right guys, we've gone ahead and got the slides off of the suspension and literally did it in the nick of time. Now, as you can see right here on the slide itself, we have reached the wear line. If you go past that wear line, there is a chance that you could crack your suspension and you do not wanna do that and it's gonna cost you. So definitely make sure to get these replaced when you hit that wear line. So we did good, we got it off in the nick of time. Now, as you can see here, this is a new slide compared to the old one and it does have a little bit extra length to it. They're always gonna come a little bit longer. So simply just cut it to length and then we'll get that thing installed on the suspension. One thing that's really important is making sure that your screw gets snugged down really good. We wanna make sure that it stays beneath the outer portion here of your slide. You do not want that screw to come down and actually catch on any track clips or the track itself that's gonna cause a lot of damage. So make sure she's snugged in place. 
All right, guys, so we've gone ahead and got the wheels as well as the slides on the suspension. The tools we used in today's video are gonna be listed in the description box down below. I'm Dylan with Dennis Kirk, and we'll see you guys next time. Down production, take one. Everything looks good to go. They're nice and snug and done the right way, correctly. <laughs> <laughs> so that was horrible. <laughs> that is not working very well. I, did, I wanted to stay away from that because then I was like, no, if I go into that, I know I'm going to screw up. Yeah, I'm going to say replacement. <laughs> I tried to steer completely clear of that on that one.